Hello and welcome class. Today, I just simply want to go over some fundamental principles and rules that you should be following in times of crisis. Okay, this video is going to be talking about how to thrive in a crisis, how to thrive during a crisis. Right now, it's March 2020. We're in the middle of March and we are experiencing a worldwide crisis. This involves financial and health predominantly is what is affecting the market is people's health and people's finances. These are the two most powerful, most effective tools that we have in our arsenal. And when those things get attacked, what leads afterwards is usually anxiety, depression, worriness, fear, doubt, doubt in someone's faith religion, beliefs, you begin to lose hope in things that were once secure and certain, and now they are uncertain, unsteady. Your foundation has been pulled from under you, so now you may be in a position where you have to start over again. Or you've just been affected and it hurt you or set you back a few steps, and now you have to regain your footing. What, however, whomever, wherever, whenever a crisis strikes, what you need to understand is that a crisis is not a good or a bad thing, okay? It's simply an event that you have no control over. How you perceive that event will determine whether it was bad or good for you. So I wanna give you some ideas and perspective on that word crisis. Understand that your definition of a crisis could have a negative like meaning around the word crisis itself. Whereas if you look at the Japanese and Chinese culture, the word crisis means opportunity. Opportunity is not a good or a bad thing either. It's simply a event which sparked an opportunity, a way, a way for you to make a change from this event, from this specific time and place, situation, circumstance, whatever it is. So if you can operate how they do, how they define crisis, it can help you redefine some other words in your life so that you look at things through a different lens, okay? We're talking about how to thrive in a crisis. The very first rule, I'm giving it to you right now, is perspective and the lens that you're wearing. What lenses are you wearing during this particular crisis? For example, the coronavirus. How are you perceiving this crisis, this event over which you have no control over? Are you freaking out? Are you worrying about tomorrow? Tomorrow's not guaranteed. You only have today. Are you worrying about the past? Are you trying to, you know, look at what happened back then or compare and contrast? Or are you the, are you the few that is right here, right now? What can I do right now to better my today to have a effective tomorrow? How are you looking at today? How can I be a better version of myself today than I was yesterday? so that I can have an even more effective day tomorrow, okay? If you start doing things this way, your perspective, the way you look at things in life will dramatically change. So crisis is an event that you have no control over. It's not good or bad, but how you perceive it may result in a bad event or a good event. I simply look at crisis as an opportunity to thrive when everybody else is going the other way. Right? You want to be the few that takes the, you know, the longer route, so to speak, or the effective route, not take shortcuts. You want to do what no one else is doing. You want to be persistent in your reach for success. You want to thrive. Okay? Very, very important. Coming to the board, another thing on top of how to thrive in a crisis, I'm going to give you some tools and some tangible things that you can be doing right now, okay? Since a crisis is an event 
that you have no control over, you are forced to change something that you've been normally doing. For example, maybe you shop X amount of dollars for the week and now you have to amp it up because you don't know when the next time you'll be able to go to the grocery store. You don't know if your community, town, or city is going to go on lockdown where nobody's allowed to leave their home because of this particular crisis. So you may have to change your budget, rearrange some things to create more money, more cash flow to buy the things that you need to do. So you may have to change or you may have to reinvent yourself. I'm sure there's people who already have been laid off their jobs, companies that are closing doors. These companies are preparing for the crisis ahead of you. You're getting the information late, so you may need to reinvent yourself, meaning find a new skill that's going to create money, that's going to create the resources so that you can feed your family and keep living the life that you're living, okay? Something that is always going to be available no matter what, sales. Remember, this particular crisis and many other crisis that's happened in the past affects health and financial. If you have something that you can sell always, you are preventing the crisis from changing your entire financial structure. So in terms of changing and reinventing yourself, you might have to find some sort of sales position or an opportunity to sell something. Get into sales, locate the demand, where, what, what do people need in this time of crisis and how can they buy it from me, right? How can you become the product or the service? They come to you. So you got to locate the demand and find the supplies. Who do I need to team up with? What company do I need to get into so that they can give me the supplies to meet the demand to create the income? to protect myself and my family, and even help others, okay? Another super, super important thing you've been doing right now, oh my goodness, so many people are, are, are missing this simple, simple fundamental rule here is increase your productivity. Everybody else is gonna be dialing back. You should be working more. As Soon as you get home from your nine to five, work on your five to nine, right? Work on your five to nine that's going to replace your nine to five, okay? Five to nine, simply those hours, that you'll, those free time, instead of watching TV, instead of dwelling on the news and what's going on in the world, focus, focus, focus. How can I produce more activity? How can I produce more revenue in the midst of a crisis? There's going to be a lot of people that are going to benefit big from a crisis, it's happened in the past, it'll happen again. We're going through a cycle, crisis, an event that we have no control over. So develop your foundation. Take the necessary steps to move forward with your life. Increase your productivity. Become the most valuable player. How can you become the MVP in your company so that they need you? They need you, even in the midst of a crisis. They, need, they can't get rid of you. They get rid of you, the company's down, right? So how can you become the MVP of your company so that your money, your stream of income does not stop, it keeps going? Next, grow your seed. What is your seed? It's the gift that you've been born with. Translate that into today's world build your business my friend your seed is your business that thing that gift that purpose inside of you nobody can fire you from your gift or your purpose nobody i promise you when you know your purpose in life when you know your gifts Nobody can take that away from you. They can take away your job, right? Oh, they can take away your job. 
but they can't take away your gift or your purpose. So your seed is your gift, your purpose, which will build a business, which will produce Benjamins if you live in the U.S. Okay, Benjamins, money. Ultimately, last but not least, avoid bad debt. Avoid bad debt. Very, very simple. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for you to go into debt. You want to make that a last resort. Instead of accumulating bad debt, you should be focusing on how can I accumulate good debt that will pay money, that will increase my capital, that will increase my leverage. Think it through. Think it through. Okay, do not waste time. A crisis will occur all the time, every time. It will never stop. The Bible says it itself. God says it himself. Day and night, hot, cold, summer, winter will cease to exist as long as the earth endures. Meaning, as long as planet earth remains planet earth, remains that big blue beautiful planet earth right hot and cold summer and winter fall spring sunrise sunset right these things will continue to occur hurricanes earthquakes tsunamis bacteria viruses all of it will continue to happen how you perceive the crisis will ultimately decide how you come out of the crisis. I am choosing to rise above the crisis. I am choosing to ride the storm. Let me give you one more example to leave with here, which is God himself relates his characteristics of two creatures in the animal kingdom, one of them being the eagle. Did you know that when a storm is coming, and the eagle is, say, near that storm. Like most other animals, they will run away from the storm. They will hide. The eagle flies toward the storm, right? Say it's like a tornado or some, some type of storm, right? <clears throat> when the storm is coming, the eagle actually flies towards the storm, flies high in the air, right? And it lets the storm keep the eagle flying. And he just glides above the storm. This is what the eagle's doing. He's glad because there's so much wind from, say, that hurricane or that storm. The wind gusts, right? The, the stuff that blows your car away, that blows people's belongings, ruins houses. The eagle's like this. Riding above the storm. The reason why it does this is to conserve energy. And it can just glide, doesn't have to use its wings. It can just glide. Keep flying, keep flying. Are you the eagle in a crisis? Are you the one people turn to? Are you the one people come to for help? Are you the one that disperses the resources? Are you the king that you ought to be? My name is Denzel Rodriguez. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless. Mm -hmm.